I am really excited about this lesson because there's got to be another way of looking at everything, of the world, of me, of you, of what we do. Of well, There's got to be another way of looking at cookies. Yes? Have you felt like this before? Yeah. All right. So that's the lesson today. Lesson 33. There is another way. There is. There is another way of looking at the world. And it's basically like us recognizing that we can indeed shift our perception outside of us and inside of us. Like you can shift it. You can shift it. You can shift that shit. Just shift it. All right. Before I turn this into a musical, let me, yeah, this is all I can do today. Let me just hand it over to Jesus. Go. Go, JC. Go. Yeehaw, 33, y'all. I love this lesson because there has to be another way of looking at the world. And Tina Jesus today added that, yeah, it's a gift to yourself. It's a gift to yourself to question your perception that you've always had and you never actually question your perception. But now that this lesson is helping you do so, it's going to open your mind to seeing different because that is what you want. That is what you want, isn't it? It's like you've been asking, is there a better way? And the Course in Miracles is saying, yeah, babe, sure is. Um, let's look at everything different. This lesson number 33, there is another way of looking at the world, is transformative, which means you might be getting a whole slew of new experiences coming your way from doing a course in miracles. You might be having more vivid dreams. You just might feel different. Maybe you are connecting with certain people or people that sort of fell out of your life and now you're like, hey, what's up? I want to like, remember that favor you did for me? I want to pay back that, that quote debt to you. Maybe maybe not like debt in a negative way, but you just want to like help people out. You have this urge to be more compassionate. And also um, Tina Jesus talked about physical effects. Like your physical vessel could be going through changes literally as you change your mind, change your perception, and change the way that you are looking at the world. Tina Jesus also said that the human mind aligned with love is the most powerful tool there is. I think Jesus may have said in the universe, yeah, we're some powerful mother truckers uh, if we could get our ducks in a row and align our human mind with love. It becomes way more powerful. So just a thought, something to think about. The pathways of light, um, so sweet. It's like, show me love. So yeah, there's got to be, there is another way of looking at this, right? So yeah, show me love in everything I see. Let me see with Christ's vision. Let me have the Holy Spirit come in and tweak my perception. I guess it's like, yo, I guess my perception needs corrected and I want to wake up. I want to be happy. I want the peace of God. So yes, please show me love in everything I see. So some of the notes, I'm like, yeah, we'll file that. But I've been collecting my goddesses. I'm like, oh, she's so cute. I can't throw her out. I love her. I love her. And since I, yeah, I just, I love her. I love, I love the number 33. I love love. I love happy. I love peace. I love God. I love pathways of light. I love you. I do. I love everybody. I know that it's like, like it, it, it kind of takes away the specialness because yeah, it, it's just unconditional love. Sorry. But it's like, I love you because I love everybody. <laughs> of course I love you. Well, cause I love everybody. So good for you. All right. Anyways. Um, what else can be said? I don't know. Let's listen to the pathways of light. Um, because 
yeah, show me love in everything I see. It is going to be a musical today. Good. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 33, Insights. There is another way of looking at the world. More and more, I am seeing the connections between these lessons. Most of the time, when I look at the world, I am not aware of God being there. But an earlier lesson says that God is in everything I see. I must be missing something. There is another way of seeing the world. When I affirm this, I am cracking the door open to receive the vision of the Holy Spirit, which will show me love in everything I see. So today's lesson is another step in opening my mind to be taught by my inner teacher, the Holy Spirit. The fact that I am not aware of God in everything I see is proof that I need this reminder constantly. I go through most of my day assuming that I know the meaning of what I am seeing. I assume that what I see is true and ra rarely stop to question what I see or how I am interpreting what I see. Using this lesson frequently through the day is another step that is essential to learn if I want the peace of God. The peace of God cannot be found by excluding him from everything I see. Along with remembering that there is another way to see the world, it is helpful to also remember that God is in everything I see. If I'm not seeing love, I need help. I am grateful for the course and all the help it offers. The more I work with it, the more I appreciate its compassionate gen genius in offering me the means to see anew. Today's lesson, There is Another Way of Looking at the World, helps me step back from my past way of seeing things. It helps me remember that I do not know what anything is for. It's a helpful wake-up call, reminding me to step back and ask the Holy Spirit for a new kind of vision. I need this practice because I forget often. I need to remember that there is another way of looking at this a hundred times a day, this practice will help me help jar me out of simply repeating the past. I want a new way of looking at the world. But first, I must remember that there is another way of looking at the world. I want to be happy. I want to wake up. I want to remember the one self that is eternal. Today's lesson is an important step in this process. As I work with this lesson, I have a nice feeling of being gently led along a path where I can easily see that what seems so real in the world is not what it seems since it can literally change from moment to moment. We can also see that the pictures we see in our mind are not different from those we think we see with our eyes. They're not different and they're equally unreal. We can learn this by simply observing the shifting nature of these perceptions. Pathwaysoflight.org yeah, I'll take a musical. It's better than my yesterday. It's better than my yesterday. Mm, 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 mm. But you know what? When we have days and moments and circumstances and things that arise that cause us distress, you can say, um, Holy Spirit, hello. Hey, 
it's me again. Um, is there a better way to look at this? Like, could you please correct my perception? Because, like, I'm not really saying love, but, like, I know I want to. So I'm just going to close my eyes and say, there is another way. There is another way of looking at this. And then, yeah, pretty much just say it all day and all day and all day and all day until we get it in our heads that it is time to align with love. It is. Okie doke. I'll see you tomorrow. It'll Tomorrow will be good too. And tomorrow, I th like this is all I can do today, right? So that's fine. I'm open. I'm asking for better communication within myself, within my whatever. Is there a better way of looking at the world? Then please show me. Yeah. All right. Bye. I don't know how to end this. Sadie, this is the red square. Push it. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs>